Hi guys, this is video two. This is question two of my exam technique series for Biol 2, Unit 2 Biology for AS level. Um, this question is a selective breeding question and a little bit of how science works and in interpreting data. Um, so let's start off by looking at what is selective breeding. Okay, so selective breeding is basically where humans, we get organisms with desirable characteristics and we breed them together over and over again to get um, a perfect individual. So basically we get the marks for saying breed animals, it doesn't have to be animals, so we should really put organisms, so it can be plants too or anything really. Um, you should breed the ones with the desired characteristics, with desired traits. So if you want a dog with short legs, you breed two short-legged dogs together over and over again until you get the desired leg length. But this leads to problems. Explain one potential problem that can be caused by this. Well, um, one simple one is you reduce the gene pool. You know, so reduce genetic diversity is a problem. And the reason why this is so much of an issue, I guess, is, well, the reason why it's the reason why it was reduced so much is if you want recessive traits or you want more rare traits, um, you end up doing back crosses or you end up breeding um, organisms that are closely related. Uh, that's a bit of an issue. Um, so we could go for the reduced gene pool approach um, or you could go for the interbreeding approach, whichever. Okay, And this interbreeding one um, results in more recessive alleles being expressed or leads to health issues. So in dogs, you know, things like Labradors, quite a common family pet, but they've been interbred um, quite quite a lot. And as a result, you get health issues like hip dysplasia um, that I'm sure some of you guys have come across, but that's because of selective breeding. So let's have a little look. Big old paragraph of text to read. Heritability is a measure of how much the variation of population is due to genetic factors. Um, values for the heritability of a feature range from 0 to 1. A value of 0 means there is no influence of genetics. A value of 1 means that the feature is entirely due to genetic factors. Um, the large Munsterlander and Poodle Pointer are two breeds of hunting dog. Table 1 shows the mean heritability values and standard deviations for two features of these two breeds of hunting dog. Now, when you see standard deviations, uh, you must be thinking there's a question coming asking about overlap, which we'll, which we'll get to. But let's have a look. There's our data, the large Munsterlander and the Poodle Pointer, features, tra tracking and searching, and some information about um, how much genetics is a factor. So instantly, we can see that there's a big old number here, not 0.8, that is really, really close to one. So that is really high um, in terms of heritability, meaning it's almost entirely controlled by genetics. So let's have a look and see what the question wants. If a dog breeder wishes to use selective breeding for one of these features, which one should he choose? Oh, well, there we go. So we want the one that's almost entirely due to genetics. So he would use the large Munsterlander for tracking. So he'd use tracking for the large... I'll just put munched. The reason why, uh, it's almost entirely uh, controlled by genetics, so value is close to one. Very good. Not too bad, two marks. Uh, and then the next question, what do the standard deviations suggest about the differences in heritability values for searching between the two breeds of dog? Well, let's get rid of this highlighting and look at searching. And what we see is that the standard deviations overlap. There's a lot of values for both the large Munsterlander and the large Poodle Pointer um, that there is no real difference between the searching ability, uh, the, sorry, the searching heritability um, in these, these two species. So when you look at standard deviations, you should always be looking for an overlap. In this case, there is an overlap. So standard deviations overlap, and what we mean by this, oh, sorry, um, what we interpret from this is there is no significant difference. 
for the heritability of searching between those two species. So no significant difference. So always be aware that if standard deviations overlap, there is no significant difference. If they do not overlap, then there is a significant difference. That was question two. Um, please check out my standard deviation video if you need more of a hand with that. But for now, thanks very much for watching. Let's give ourselves seven out of seven. Like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for video three. Question three.